The future of AI writing is bright in August of 2023. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through my thoughts on where AI is right now and what is the best way to write a book or to use AI in your writing uh, as of August 2023. And then I'll give you a personal update and then a spotlight of a particular, I, I'm going to do one or more creators or tools or anything I think is particularly important to spotlight for the month and let's get into it. So first let's start up with what is best for writers right now. Now there it's a lot of opinion on this and right rightly so. You could pick any one of the tools whichever one works for you and that's fine. There are people out there that enjoy novel AI for example and I for one uh, did not enjoy novel AI when I used it and I left a pretty scathing review about it and uh, got a little torn up in the co comments by some people that, that love it. And you know, if that's you, then that's fine. Uh, but here is what I believe to be the best approach uh, just to try and simplify it for those of you who may be overwhelmed by all of these tools and all of that. But that being said, I still think the easiest and the best way to write fiction with AI is to use the tool PseudoWrite especially Pseudorite's tool, the um, story engine, which allows you to write a lot of things in bulk. However, I do think that the best and most optimal way to write with AI is to use a combination of Pseudorite with a chatbot. And now that chatbot can be either ChatGPT or Claude. I think both are good, but if I could only pick one, it would probably be Claude right now. Uh, because thanks to this new update, they're really killing it. And Claude is much better at language in a lot of senses. And the reason I use both is because Pseudorite charges by the word. So you're given a certain word allotment for your subscription. And in order to avoid using up all of those words, I will often turn to Claude or ChatGPT to generate a lot of the brainstorming ideas and stuff. Anytime I'm going back and forth with the AI and just sort of thinking through the with the AI as a co-writing partner, I will do that in Claude. And then I'll take a lot of those ideas that I have and I'll stick them into Pseudorite and then I'll say, okay, now basically write me some stuff with this information that I've just gathered. And I feel like that is currently the best and most optimal way to use AI to write fiction. I also think that Pseudorite is still the best platform for editing if you have a full manuscript and you want to edit it for things like including more description or showing instead of telling or just adding little bits of dialogue here and there. If you have the full manuscript, you can go into Pseudorite and, you know, take little pieces and say, make this better, make that better. And I think it's really good at that. And it's really the only tool that does it well. However, that does not apply to proofreading. If you are looking for a tool to help you proofread, I think the best one to use is um, ProWritingAid, which does have AI tools built into it, but it's not really thought of as an AI tool, even though it kind of is. And so um, that is what I would use for proofreading. Thankfully, you can get lifetime deals with Pro Writing Aid if you don't want to pay a monthly subscription. I will also mention, even though I, I've said a lot of good things about Claude right now, I think if you are trying to do a different type of writing, like if you're writing nonfiction or if you're writing articles for the internet, uh, that kind of writing and even a few other use cases like some types of social media chat GPT is still the best one to go chat GPT is better at understanding data and it's also better at structures and you know if you have a specific structure and you want to um, incorporate that then chat GPT is really good with that it's really good at following instructions where Claude is just more creative which in a lot of cases it's a good thing but in a lot of cases it tends to veer from the instructions you gave it and uh, can be a little bit more difficult to wrangle back and, and get it on topic. So there are still reasons to use ChatGPT. I personally use Pseudorite, ChatGPT, ProWritingAid, and Claude. I use them all uh, in various factors. And that's not just because I'm an influencer in this space and kind of have to have them all to be able to talk about them. But I actually genuinely use them all for different reasons. Last but not least, I wanted to talk about art 
And art, I think, is still Midjourney's game. Now, there have been a number of things coming up that are really good. I, if you're interested in checking out a few of them, the one I would recommend the most is Leonardo.ai, uh, which gives you a lot of good free generations and has a lot of cool tools in there. But I still think in terms of the final quality of the output that it gives you, Midjourney is still the best one so far. We're, we're gonna see how things go. So if you wanna create a book cover or character art for like a concept art or something like that, or anything, you know, even like coloring pages to share with your readers, that's the sort of thing that I would use Midjourney for. And I do believe it's still the best product for most authors, unless you are a little bit more advanced and could look into some of the other tools like stability.ai. All right, moving on to my personal update for the month of August. I am currently hard at work at a new book and my first book about using AI that is incorporating everything that I've learned over the last year or so and all of these frameworks that I've developed, some of which I've talked about here on the channel, but some of which I have not. And that's really excited and I'm about halfway through and it's really coming along. I'm really excited for that. After I finish that, which will probably be sometime this month, I'm going to start working on a course and putting together all, all of the other little extras and little things that I plan on releasing with the book. So it'll still be a while before that book is released, I think. I think you can probably expect it later this year, uh, probably around, if I had to guess, around October, but definitely don't hold me to that. Um, and then there should be a course coming out which will take it to the next level and hopefully, you know, I'm still working out the details, but hopefully that'll be an opportunity to really walk you through the whole process and get you actually writing with AI and finishing a book with AI. But really right now, my main focus is continuing to do this YouTube channel and putting out at least six videos a week, which has been my goal for the last couple months. And so far, I'm, I have no plans of slowing down. It's gonna continue this way for as long as I can do it. But in other news, I have also created a Discord and so if you're interested in interacting with a lot of like-minded people and interacting with me, you can do that at the Discord and I'll have a link to that below. Lastly, I'd like to put a spotlight on Future Fiction Academy, which was founded by a number of people, uh, but it's by far, I think, the best way to keep up with the world of AI and all of the cool things you can do. And they're constantly just testing and pushing the limits of the AI and seeing what it can do and learning new prompts and each they have these lab hours right and there's about eight of them every week which is a lot and these lab hours can go you know one to two hours each and so if you're tuning in you will be at the forefront of ai like there's nobody that is more cutting edge than them right now in terms of figuring out how to use ai for writing fiction uh, and even though like some people might uh, have actually asked me because i promoted them before some people have asked me, like, aren't they going to be a competitor to you if you're going to be putting out your own course? My course is going to be completely different. Uh, I have a whole, wholly different approach that I think is going to be slightly more evergreen, uh, which is why I'm able to do it as a course and not an ongoing series of lab hours like Future Fiction Academy does. And so... Uh, I, I'm not worried about competition with them at all, and which is why I'm happy to promote them. Their pricing, it's really affordable for what they give you. It's about, comes out to be about $4 for every lab session, which when you think about it, isn't really that much. And that is, of course, billed monthly. So definitely go check them out. If you haven't checked them out already, I'll have a link to that below. And thank you for uh, coming to this video on the state of AI in August. If you liked this video, let me know if you would like to see me do more in September and October and so on. Uh, because I felt like it, I felt the need to really kind of just give us a snapshot of where we are right now, because so many things are changing. And uh, so I thought that would just be helpful. But it, if you liked it, just let me know and I'll keep doing them. If not, let me know that as well. And I'll see you in the next video.